good morning and welcome to my channel and yes I'm back after rather a long break um, I decided when my son came over in the middle of July it was so hot we as you know all know we've been having these heat waves here and it just got too much to do anything um, so I'd taken 10 days off with him and then I decided through August I wasn't going to do anything it was just too much you just couldn't do it you you moved and it was awful so um and we decided last year we weren't going to put air con in because we were quite comfortable with the ceiling fans we've now decided that come january we're putting air con in for next year because if these summers are getting hotter we're going to need it um so we had a lovely time with my son here um, it was great with all the with the two little babies and the two older girls. Um, it was a house full and it got very noisy. And then when they left, it was ever so quiet. But again, we just couldn't do anything. So we swam in the pool and sat and watched a bit of TV, slept. You had to have a sleep after your lunch um, because it was just too much. Um, Anyway, it's now September and probably when this comes out, I'll be on my way to Portugal. We're going to visit a friend in Portugal. But first, I'm going to make, going back to my paper bag pockets, etc. I'm going to make, with this paper bag, a paper bag matchbook. Quite simple, straightforward, easy to do. Take one of these paper bags that has got the flap down here literally glue everything you can that can be glued down <laughs> including in just inside this bit here so you're gluing this flap down and inside there you're not gluing that and then you glue the same this side so you're gluing inside there and all the way up here. Oops, you're gluing it all down. So I hope you're all well and I'm hoping that um, there'll be a few more views and a few more subscribers even though I've been gone a while. Um, I thought I'd start fresh and be a lot more proactive because I've been very lazy with it all over the last year what with moving and everything and again you glue the top down as well all of it so these have probably been made before I have no idea I just thought the shape of the bag lended themselves to a matchbook this one I'm going to be making for <laughs> don't laugh this journal that I've been making for the last six months using the Tim Holtz wallflower papers and I've been making this for the last I don't know how long six months or so and I haven't got very far with it at all and this is a paper bag large 10 by 10 paper bag journal but I'm determined now I'm going to finish it and what I'm also doing is using the papers here and I've got quite a few scraps here left that I'm sure I can cover this in. Right, so this is all dry and I've inked around everywhere and I've cut the papers out that I want to use um, on here. So that's going, no, that's not going there. <laughs> that's going there. And then these two will go on the back here once it's all dried. So once you've put that on, you're then folding this down so that it goes underneath the lip there just sort of by about that much like you do with a normal when you're making a matchbook now I've used quite thick card here so it does 
Oh, it's gone to, not too bad. So it go like that. Now, and then I've got these bits for here and here. Oh, no. <laughs> Forgot. Before we do that bit, <laughs> I'm going to ink it. So, get my this out. I'm just going to ink along there with my brush. Like that. Okay, so then this goes on here, and this bit is on the back here. So back to putting this down. It's still, as I say, this is coming out in September, but I have been filming some of this in August. Um, trying to do little and often with the heat. Doing it like this doesn't put any pressure on me then to get a video done and everything. So I thought this was probably the best way to do it is just to take my time. Um, where am I? It's that bit. Yeah. As I say, it's uh, the motivation isn't there when it's so hot either. That's the other problem. To do anything. Now, as you can see, envelopes are always envelopes, paper bags are always um, uneven, but I can live with it. <laughs> I'm going to do some decoration here and I've got just a few labels, the botanical labels from um, Tracy Fox. I am making a bag for my labels, not bag, what am I talking about, a book. Um, something like that, a red one, what do you reckon? Oh, that's a pretty one. Or do I go for a brown one? Or both. Um, Blue doesn't really go. Um, what else have I got? Have I got any brown? Oh, that's pretty. Browny, greeny one. Mind you, that does blend in a bit, doesn't it? It blends in down there. You need something that's going to stand out. could use I'm thinking is one of these but cut it down um, say this oh I like that Maybe that. Let's see. Okay. Right, I like this one. So I'm just going to glue this down. I'm not going to ink this. Ooh. These are the Tim Holtz wild flowers or the stems, I can't remember which. I may have to trim again. Yeah. No. I've lost it there. 
I have to trim that off down there. Oh, I've got to drop that down a bit more there. Yep, I like that. Put my hair. And then this one down the bottom here. And then what I've got to do is get the papers together for the um, signature inside. I think I will get some fun of me. Yeah, I like that. I've got the uh, signature papers here and I've punched the holes through and I'm actually going to tie it up with some sari silk. So I've got quite a big eye on the needle so I can see what I'm doing <laughs> and also to make it quite um, oops, that way round. So we go through yeah I'm going to tie it up on the outside. It does take quite a bit to get through. Okay, so now. Pull that back through a bit. No, there. This is white seam binding that I've um, coffee dyed and just tie it into a bow. This way you can put other signatures in when you've used it up if you want to. Take them out. There. I always keep my scraps. So let's tie this just a little bit tighter. And then I will show you what I've done. So then this just hooks 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 underneath there. And you have a nice matchbook using a paper bag. Quite simple and straightforward, just like any other matchbook, really. And then I've got these papers in here that you can use. I mean, you can take these out and use these for collaging in the journal, as well as the map page. So that this then just hooks underneath there. And then there's one here that I did make earlier a smaller one that I'll put into my stash as well so thanks very much for watching and um, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and even hit the notification bell to see any others I've got coming out thanks very much speak to you all again soon bye